the Ann Hughes, Bryce Christian, Cheryl Christian, uh, Cheryl Hartman, Christina Dewar, Alicia Beckholtz, Ian Barley, MCAT, Melissa Fisher, Mike Snook, and Shane Stack. In 206, we have Commissioner Stromeyer and Commissioner Slotnick, Don Hart, myself, Annie Kathy, Maddie Scott, Lauren Ryan, uh, Andrew Hurst. Thank you. And Robert Yearns. Yearns? Yearns. Yes. Okay. John, were you, uh, no. you look like you're poised there. No. Uh -uh. Okay. No. Is there any, yeah, thanks, thanks for that, Annie. Is there any public comment on items not on today's agenda? Seeing none, we have a consent agenda with six items. Anything that should be pulled oh, for further discussion? I just read through these and I'd be happy to move we pass the consent. Okay, I will second that. Any further discussion or public comment on the consent agenda? Seeing none. Oh. Lauren, did you want to say anything about your items? Um, I, I can just add, I very last minute we had, um, this is for the CDBG grant item. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little backwards in that that was already routed to you last Friday for signature. Um, hopefully, I, according to the state, it, they it, were routing it, it last Friday. So, it, it very well um, yeah, they gave us basically 12 hours notice that they were going to be sending it out. And so that's why this item is coming past. But if they haven't sent it to you, then that's on them. So, well, I'll throw uh, that out there. I, I, can't say <laughs> I know if they sent it or not. Yeah, I, I think I we'll may have signed it. Dave. OK, OK. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I updated. Yeah. Yeah, we originally it was you on there, Josh, because when we applied last year, you were sure. the chair, so it sure. went to you originally. Then I had to update the information to Dave, and so um, I'll check in with them though and okay. just reach out. Anyways, I only say that just because this item basically has already been completed, but we couldn't get it on Good quick enough know. to an admin. <laughs> so, okay, uh, let. Uh... Let me know if I yeah. do not sign well, Okay, sounds good. Thank any, you. Any further comment on this item or the consent agenda? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we have three items today for action. The first <clears throat> is brought to us by John Hart. Yes, it is brought to you by me. Um, and if you read that item, it makes no sense. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little lesson that you have to proofread your RCAs when you put them into civic clerk. I didn't do that. Um, but uh, what, what we have this morning is an agreement between Missoula County and the Water's Edge Homeowners Association. Um, this involves a solution to a problem involving our old friends on Waterside Drive and the Water's Edge uh, Subdivision Homeowners Association. I'm gonna take you back two years. Um, to uh, the one foot no access it was coming. trip it's a boot issues hang. Yeah. on Waterside yeah. Drive. And you'll recall after, um, after a couple of public meetings and a lot of uh, subcommittee meetings, we were able to resolve that particular issue in a way that, um, that uh, made sense. And the folks on Waterside Drive and the HOA were uh, our partners in that, and I, you know, they were not thrilled, but they, um, we did come to a reasonable solution there. About six months ago, it came to my attention that a, something else that did not happen, uh, that needed to happen with this particular subdivision, is the dedication of trail easements through the subdivision from Deer Creek Road to the southern edge of the subdivision. When, and let, let me give you more, a little more background just for the record. Is that, is that a trail right there? Yeah. The, there, there's just no easement? The trail's been built, there's no easement. Okay. So again, just for, for the record, uh, Water's Edge subdivision, a three-phase subdivision, 20 lots, um, Phase one was platted first, um, phase two and three platted somewhere around 2018, I believe. Um, the trail easement for phase one, which, uh, which is this, this top rectangle, was dedicated, um, but it's a pedestrian uh, 
access easement, which one could argue doesn't allow bicycles. And mm. it, it may be that uh, the, the grand vision for that trail, again, is that it will connect to development to the south, same sort of distance from the river, and go all the way around, um, you know, sort of the circumference of East Missoula. So probably we'll get some bike use at some point sure. in time. May maybe not. Maybe it's always just going to be walkers and runners. But nonetheless, it was supposed to be a just a non-motorized public access easement, 15 feet wide. And that for one reason or another did not happen when phases two and three were um, platted. And when, and so what I heard about that, I volunteered um, to work with the HOA to see what we could do to, um, to get those easements dedicated. And in working with um, my friend, Andrew Hers, who's the president of the HOA, um, he said, uh, the HOA is happy to do that, but we would like you to help us solve some problems on Waterside Drive. So just to make sure I understand. So HOA owns the land that where the trail is. It's common area. Common area. Common area, common area, common area owned by the HOA. Exactly. That's a good point, Josh. Um, so Andrew said, I, I want to talk to you about some other problems on Waterside Drive. And um, their problems mostly in the event that the Aspire subdivision, which is still in the sort of formulation stages with the city, if that 182 lot subdivision to the south actually uh, is given preliminary approval and then, and then platted and developed, um, that is going to increase traffic on Waterside Drive. Um, and so the issues that that the HOA brought to me and um, what, what the, the way that the subdivision was envisioned is that Waterside Drive, 54 foot public road right away, but all of the individual 20 lots would access onto private uh, roads like River Rock Way mm -hmm. and Stony Brook yeah. Way. Yeah. So you're not coming right out onto Waterside yeah. Drive. And the findings of fact for the the giving preliminary approval to the subdivision actually noted that all lots would access interior private roads. Mm -hmm. um, for some for some reason that I can't explain. Annie, could you lift could you lift this up just a little little bit? There you go. Um, for some reason, even the preliminary plat of Waterside Drive showed, no, that's, that's too high. I'm sorry. That's it, when high. I let well, go, it went here. down. <laughs> but, but while you've got it there, yes. let's set the table. So here's Waterside Drive. That's where the one foot no access uh, strip was. It's been lifted for that mm. distance um, in the event that the spire actually uh, is platted and that that connects through. Um, the trail easement also is built all the way through to here and then would connect uh, through, you know, mm. a, re a similar distance from the river. Um, so he, getting back to the preliminary plat for um, uh, Waterside Drive, it, for some reason, it always showed that lot 13, and I believe this is lot 13, would access right onto Waterside Drive. So I, I can't. It's the I only can't. one that does it's, that? It's it's the only one that's shown <clears throat> on the preliminary plan to access directly onto Waterside Drive. Is that Drive. what happens in reality? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I can't explain the disconnect between the <clears throat> findings that say no lots will access directly onto Waterside and the preliminary plat that clearly shows that at least one was contemplated. Um, Coming forward to 2018, when phases two and three were platted, uh, not only was 13 accessing right onto Waterside Drive, but so is 12 and 14. Mm. So you've got three lots that <clears throat> just back right onto Waterside Drive. The issue is if 
if Waterside Drive connects through, there's going to be increased traffic. Um, and that's not, you know, that's that that wasn't the vision for these lots. And there, you know, there's there's um, <coughs> safety issues there and concerns for the HOA. Um, so the solution that we came up with with the HOA working with Shane Stack and Eric Dixon is to um, and this this agreement memorializes this. <coughs> And th these are all contingent on Waterside Drive actually connecting in the future. Mm -hmm. So the first solution is um, speed, soft speed tables, roughly, uh, roughly here and here, uh, such you know, with with the idea that that will slow traffic coming in both directions. Sure. So if these uh, homeowners want to back out, it's not, you know, they're not doing the, yeah, they're not doing the, the, the blind scene, whatever you want to call it. Um, the speed tables are, there's an exhibit to this agreement that shows some uh, ideas for what speed tables might look like. Dimensionally, height and, and dimensions, <clears throat> those have not been finalized, but they'll be roughly three to four inches high and span that distance of the road. Now, I want to point out, because I know Shane wants me to point it out, this is not a new policy for Missoula County Public Works. We're not going to get in the business of entertaining requests for speed tables on county road rights away. You see these throughout the city. The city can manage their rights away um, in you know more urban ways. For our county road right away, this is not something that we were going to set a precedent on. This is to address um, a problem that uh, Missoula County, in part, created, and so <clears throat> the Waterside Drive is connected through, and then with the corresponding increased traffic at that time, mm -hmm. Public Works will build these speed tables. So speed tables wouldn't be happening now; they'd be happening when. Waterside Drive connects to 100 and some odd houses. Correct. Uh, the the other thing, and uh, the, the, there's there's three there's three things that we did that, that we're agreeing to do um, to address that. Speed tables are one. The second one is um, at such time as Waterside would connect through, mm -hmm. Missoula County will look to see if Waterside Drive meets the criteria for an urban district speed limit. And that's clearly outlined in Title 61. Um, if it meets those criteria, then we would set a speed limit for Waterside Drive, post that speed limit. Um, 20, 25 or I, I believe it's 25. We couldn't do 20. If it, no, we can only do 20 urban. 25 and if it meets the urban oh, I see. criteria. And there is a 25 right now at that um, uh, uh, center that's on uh, Speedway. Okay. There's 25 mile on Speedway right there for that. Don't, we don't tell anyone about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we won't take it down. It's, it, I mean, it, is, it is a it's a high it's a high bar, uh, yeah. but but we will consider that, and if it meets the criteria, then we'll set it at 25 and post it. That's number two. That's number two. The third thing is, um, oh, uh, consideration. Missoula County is not agreeing that we will do this. We're not binding a future commission, but um, we will c consider a no parking resolution on the east side of Waterside Drive. So that's the third. Um, that's the third concession. Again, that's we, we we would entertain a request for a no parking resolution and consider that and make a decision that seems like it's in the best interest. I don't have any problem with that. I'm just want to ask uh, why, given that uh, just homes here. Is there some reason why people will be parking on the side of Riverside? Or Waterside Drive. Is there? Man, I'm I'm totally open to Andrew, not knowing. Yeah. To yeah, yeah, please sit. Yeah. So on the on the west. So when Dick Ainsworth at the hearing provided comments, he would always envisioned that there would only be one side parking on Waterside Drive, and it lends itself to the west side, on the east side, and especially now with um, when we open it up, that bend it's going to be critical that we're not blocking the view lines, 
On the west side, we want people to be over as far as possible to see coming around that bend. Um, John can tell you about the black pickup incident when he was actually there with um, the assistant public works director that came whipping around that corner while we were talking about this. Um, but so Dick had always envisioned one side of parking, and this is just to sort of um, codify that. Is there any reason not to just do that right now? Is, it, is parking on both sides and, such an issue why, that... Why are people parking there if... There's not... There's, there's all these homes that have garages and yeah, driveways, it's, and most all the homes except for three aren't even on the road. Why is anybody parking on this road, east side or west side? Well, so there is there is additional parking in front of the homes for guests. When you have gatherings and parties and things, there's additional parking required. They cannot park on the private drives. Oh, I didn't those, know that. That's, that's, those are fire lanes. There's no parking. There's no parking garage. on those, yeah. So, so at, this, at this point in time, there's not support to only have required parking on one side of this water, water side drive. It's, been, it's a sort of stated, everybody, we tell people, please park on the west side, but we don't have anything that's official to we say. We do that now. Well, I thought a hearing was required. Well, well, not no, 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 not literally not today. Not, we couldn't do it right now. But, but we, instead but of just waiting it. to some ambiguous date yeah. in the future, Got it. is there a reason to start the process right now? We should. We certainly that. could. Yeah. yeah. There's there's no reason. That there's no reason that couldn't be. And, and we would not want to contemplate that unless the homeowners association was supportive of that. Yeah. If mm -hmm. the homeowners association came and said, "We would love for you all to do yep. this," that would be meaningful. Okay. Oh yeah. We we'll, yeah. We were going to prepare that at some future point in time, but we can do that. Sooner than later. Yeah, and we, I think the Waterside HOA would be the ones that would request it. Water's Edge would, yeah. yeah. Water's Edge. And has this been a problem? The parking? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, if we have people randomly park on the east side, we just let them know. We prefer people park in the west, and people have been doing that over time. They recognize that on the west side is, is preferred side to park on. I guess I'm just thinking this. If we cleared the decks of that issue now, it's one less thing to push off to some future date. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have a dog in the fight on this, but if that is what the HOA would uh, would prefer, we could certainly pursue that. Then, then we can start with that request. I can work with you to get that request to, submitted from the HOA. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. There's not a lot of traffic now because you right. know. There's no. Yeah. Yeah. But it sounds but, like but it. When people do turn down there, I think, and then realize, oh, yeah, this is a dead end. So, right. But I don't. Right. And so those okay. those are the elements of this agreement. Okay. So and so. in exchange, and the, the, well, the final element of the agreement is, um, assuming the commissioners uh, th that you all enter into this agreement, then at that time, the HOA will um, the dedicate answer. the non-motorized access easements through okay. all so three uh, phases of the doesn't seem difficult. Sorry, Andrew, anything else? No, well, I just, I wanted to give the county the benefit of the doubt just with regards to what occurred in February 2008, because at the time that the county was reviewing uh, for approval, they did not actually have the plat in front of them. What they had was the landscape plan. Uh, and mm -hmm. even though the landscape plan does show the driveway for 13 going onto Waterside Drive, it's not as clear as it was in the preliminary plat itself. So, I mean, if somebody had been looking at that who was in planning, they might have raised their hand and said, wait a second, you just said, and yet here. And then it was just perpetuated with phases two and three, and then we had this no access strip come up. So, um, yeah. So, well, this seems like we could do this. Do what we can 16 yeah, minutes. So we'll later. say uh, speed tables happen when the road goes through and there's mm -hmm. much houses and traffic warrants. We can look at the parking resolution in the near term if you guys bring something to us mm -hmm. and we'll expect the easement to happen as well. Yeah. And then the and anything? Just speed, the speed speed, speed limit. limit. If the speed limit is approved when, to be twenty five. When the when the urban conditions yeah. warrant it yeah. can become twenty five. And, and and what we're asking for is speed signs at either end. If there's if that doesn't go through, then we don't ask for the limit signs. Sure. Sounds fine. Thanks. Uh, I just saw the explanation. Shane, is there anything you'd like to add? I mean, I, I guess my question is, is that do you, with, same with the parking or the no parking. I mean, do we want to just start looking at, at the 
25 mile an hour speed limit and get that taken care of now if, if possible. Well, if it if it if yeah. it matches the uh, density requirements set out in law, I don't see yeah. why not. John, are the are, are they are they are they the criteria met now, or would would it need to have more houses attached to that road, or more a higher traffic count? Or I have no idea what the criteria are either. It's, it's a for. it's a um, a spacing of no less than a hundred feet. Uh, for a quarter mile or more. Um, and so I think the density of these houses, I think, meets that. I think the challenge is, is they're on these private roads. And so do you count the houses that are on the private roads as being frontage on Waterside Drive? Does that make sense? Yeah, right. yeah I, I think, mean, otherwise, it's just three of them, and that, that wouldn't make the density requirement. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you could call that a gray area and just put the signs and post it because, frankly, I don't know that anybody's ever going to, you know, say, well, it's not really. I like that logic. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> so may, maybe we uh, try to address the speed limit uh, and, uh, and, and the parking, uh, the parking thing sooner rather than later. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're happy to do that. Do you need something from us for the speed limit or is that something that can just happen? What, what do you think, Shane? Do, do we need do we need a request to evaluate the urban district speed limit? I don't think so. I mean, I think, John, just the fact that we're having the conversation, we'll, we'll, we'll okay. look at it. Okay. But we will put in the request for the Yeah, so some of this we can do right away. Awesome. Right away in government terms. <laughs> so, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so, I just said, Perfect. Yeah, hey, it's always good to uh, deliver more than what I was know. expected. Yeah, it feels rare. So, uh, thanks for coming. I guess we're Thank ready you. for the motion. Unless there's anything else you I, want to add. I was trying to drive a hard bargain, so uh, I wanted to make these things all in the future. I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding. I, I, it, it, I'm fine with however we're doing. Do we need I will, to amend will, anything as no. a result of? No, I would, I would no. move we make number one happen. Second that. Further discussion or public comment on the motion? Yeah. Just to clarify then, once it's uh, recorded with the county, then we will sign off on the easement grants, right? Yep. Perfect. So I will stay avidly tuned for that. <laughs> I'll send you a recorded uh, copy of this agreement and we'll work to get the easements. Perfect. And we'll record those too. Any comment on this? Seeing none all in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks, okay. John. So now that we have that done, I, I want to tell you to stay tuned for the next chapter. Uh, mm -hmm. And that will be a plat adjustment on phases three. The planners will bring that forward. I, I'll, I'll I'll be in the background on that one, and that will be to lift the no access strip for 15 feet, so that the trail mm -hmm. can connect through. Okay. 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 So, so we'll do that. We're gonna we're gonna keep plugging away. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. And are you guys being real active with the city on the? I am keeping. I've got my finger on the pulse of what's going on with that. In terms Thanks. Of observing, but in terms of active, there's nothing more I can do other than just observe. Yeah, uh, and make comment. There was just as a quick aside, uh, the developer had attempted to do a cut through to the service road that goes to the um, the um, sewer lift station at the along the edge of the southern border, which was and they thought because you know the access no access strip was being removed, so it was really only removed across Waterside Drive and will only be removed across the river trail, and we're not going to approve anything cutting through. Plus, it was. A service, uh, I don't know if that was county or city service access to that lift station. At any rate, um, we had them pull that off and they're going to come up with an alternate solution. So, but that's because Good. we've been watching. Great. All right. You're, yeah. Thank Way you. to be part of it. Yeah. The city so, wishes this uh, trail easement was 30 feet wide. Um, I was not willing to ask the HOA to dedicate 30 feet because all the developer had agreed to back in the day was 15 feet. So, well, and again, the whole issue was conforming to the preliminary plan. So, yep, sure. Yeah. Well, they can be 30 feet on the other side. They can do whatever exactly. they want on the other side. All right. Thank you, John. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The okay. last two items board appointments. Maddie. All right. First one is requesting Peter Donaldson uh, from alternate to active seat. I already put this in front of you once before, but I accidentally missed up dates and just so that way they could have quorum this month. Well, it's good because I've changed my mind about Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I start from scratch. <laughs> so it's just fixing those dates so that way they can have quorum this month. 
I think can we do two and three simultaneously? We absolutely can. Oh, yeah. and then Owen, yep, he is a um, appointing to be second alternate. If I remember chatting with us. All right, I'd move we two items, two and three. Second that. Any further discussion or public comment? All in favor? Hey. Aye. Aye. Thanks, man. Okay, appointments have been made. HOA agreements have. That was a complex one, John. Thanks for the explanation. A lot yeah. of moving parts. Yeah, a lot of moving parts. Hope we didn't. Uh, it was. It was not mess things up too, too much by uh, wanting no. to expedite a couple. Oh of no, matters. no, no. I, I just, I mean, I wasn't. You know, that's perfect. That's where you guys come in and decide the timeline. I just, I just got the elements. Glad, I'm glad we can do it. It took it took it took a long time. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> it was nothing with this that. was everything with this was fussy. But no, they're 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 good to work with. They uh, they wanted a lot more, and um, but and you know, but this this was a good. It's going to be a long time till those houses are built, and a long time till the roads built. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't. Well, I'm wrong every day, but I don't think that subdivision is going to happen, if ever. Really? Someday it'll happen, but I don't know that we're too just... much opposition. I think it's very Maybe expensive, just... or just no, just, just, the, the, just the development climate. <laughs> I, just, I just think it's really. <laughs> I was really expensive for a walk yesterday, and I was looking at the real estate signs in these real estate houses. Thanks, everyone. We'll let you go. Yeah, I, mind-boggling. 